Have fun. It's Friday. All right. Thank you, Miss Box. <laughs> back home and good morning um we're gonna put these in the minivan today we might go hello. ubering hello the one boy left back home t-dub is watching some kind of twin hello. show with sisters i don't know oh hello hello dance moves and let's check out the uh, loads for today on truck smarter what do we have on a friday let's see truck smarter right there in the middle totally free load board check them out in the uh, description below and uh, there's an invite code. Just go ahead and sign up and get going. Factoring, fuel, all kinds of stuff. Thanks for signing up. Awesome. Uh, Tulsa and AZ for 32. Ooh, it's a long drive. Taylor's to Johnson. I don't know where that's at. I'll have to look it on the map. Arkansas are up again. Maryland from Duncan. That's mm, needs a, a little bit light. Needs to be in the 2000s or more. Let's see. Shelby to Jonesville. I'll look at that one. That's going to probably be like a seven, seven fifty or we'll bid on that one. All right, it's a straight through. So we can get that off the truck and still look for something else Saturday, Sunday. We'll submit that one. I'm going to keep looking. Indiana to 1100, man. A little bit light, but I guess if you want to get back up to the north or the Midwest, it, it works for you. Connecticut, Alabama for 720 man. California. We don't go to California. 7,000. Hmm. Tallahassee. For, oh, it's light for Tallahassee. Okay. Well, I, th I thought it'd look a little better for Friday, but not uh, 710 all the way down to Charleston. Man, we'll keep looking. And yeah, it's getting a little too high in the deadhead. I mean, if it's worth it, we'll go deadhead that much, but we'll see what we get. But not looking great for Friday. I thought it'd be better than that, especially uh, uh, with what I thought was turning around. But maybe they'll start moving stuff. Who knows? But yeah, let's keep looking. So not a lot happening on Friday. Um, we'll see if something else pops up. A couple to put bids on. Uh, JB Hunt already rejected one of them, so... I don't know. Uh, we might go Uber for a little bit. We might just hang out with Kai and get some time in with him. And uh, then pick up the boys from school at 2 o'clock. See if we get anything later in the day. But I thought there'd be a lot more loads out there today. But not a lot. Come here. Oh, she's a pretty girl. I want to say hi. Want to say hi to everybody? Oh, yeah. Okay. All right. We'll keep looking. It is windy out here, man. Yeah. Speaking of wind, uh, high wind advisory today. Come on. You come with me. They are here. Are you ready for brothers? Yep. Oh, you're, why are you pulling down the visor? You want to check the mirror? What are you doing? Okay. All right. There they are. Ah, it's wind day. Let's go look at the cows. Let's do it. All right. So what does that candy do? It has three different. Wow. They're getting crazy with push pops. My goodness. Okay. No, you come with us today. Hey, no shoes. Back in the car. See you later, guys. And we got a load. The boys are back from school. Um, load that was on their way earlier in Greenville, Tennessee. I didn't even bid on it because I wasn't going to deadhead that much. But then later on, I did bid on it. I will put that inside the house. Let me see that thing. That's pretty, pretty cool. You made that in school? Yeah. A snail? Uh, I didn't. So when I was Amson, uh -huh. I, didn't, I figured out what this up. thing does. Yeah. I didn't get to make a snail. Oh, wow. So, pull it out and then Spokaster gave me a snail. That is super right cool. Oh, blows up. Oh. Do you Wait, I have an idea. I have an idea. Huh. Huh. Um, yeah, so we got a load. Um, it doesn't deliver until Monday, which is fine, but it comes right back on the path of the house to go out to Charleston. So that is pretty awesome. I, and they doubled it. It was seven hundred dollars. Uh, we got a fourteen, so or we doubled it. But they just accepted the bid. I went to the app, got it going, and now I'm going to Tennessee. You're the only ten I see. You're the only ten I see. Oh my goodness. She's over at her house. Of course. Stop stealing Lily's phone. Why? <laughs> Change your clothes. I know. I love your Sonic. We you can't wear it every day. Well, love you guys. I'll be right back. You are uh, okay. You're welcome. I don't know what you're welcome for, but all right. Love you, love you too. Love you, baby. Hey, baby. 
I gotta go up the mountain real quick, okay? I'll be back. Give me hugs. Uh, I'm starting I'm with the minivan. Mm. You can go out there, start it. Don't go on the grass, go on the, uh, next to the road. Let's do this, man. Yeah, but it's awesome. We got the load over the weekend, delivered early morning Monday. Oh, yeah, you good? The key should be in it. You just gotta close the door. You got it? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right. I love you. Hugs. Oh. I'll see you in a little bit, okay? Okay. Kiss. I'll be home in, uh, tonight. Okay. Okay, we're back. Hasn't been long. <laughs> Got back yesterday. What time did we get back yesterday? Uh, we were delivering right now yesterday. It's three, it's about three o'clock. That's when our delivery was. Let's do a pre trip on again. Check our hub oil. Check our hubs on the backside. All that good stuff. And I ordered some new lights. We should be here soon for the back of the uh, mud flap holders and mud flap hangers and the um, front bumper because that one little light being out drives me crazy. And I'll get my bag this time. So let's go fire this thing up and check the oil and all that stuff. All right. I really didn't think I was going to get a load uh, for the weekend with the way the load board looked, but they need something to move. They will accept your bid. Even if it's twice what they were uh, offering. Starting to get a little bit of rain and there is a high wind advisory um, on this route going up. So let's put a cool palm tree right here. This house right here, we got something that they dug up on the ground right there, but uh, it's kind of just doesn't fit in the neighborhood. <laughs> I don't know. It's, it's for sale. They just built it. They just now built it, but it's pretty accents, the wood, and really well designed. But uh, man, it doesn't fit. I wouldn't want to live right next to the giant generator right there and it's kind of a dirt field, but easy on and off the highway and maybe somebody to buy it. There's, there's a home for everybody. Okay, let's go, turn burn. Corvettes right there. Five of them going down south. Look at the Z06s. Go up 20. 
26, um, torque's kind of like uh, Johnsonville. And uh, then we'll cut across a little bit, get Greenville, and then come back, come back down. 18,000 pounds for the weekend. Let's go. Branching off to that 25. changes. Let's do this. I'm a little hungry. I don't know what I'm going to eat today. And you can run up these mountains with the, uh, which aren't even huge mountains. Loaded like this guy probably is, but it's just more work on your truck. If you don't have to, don't, don't do it, you know. I like to roll up here empty. Maybe take something back down or roll up here under 30,000 pounds if I can, so. See, but we're almost uh, about getting up to Asheville, getting to Hendersonville. Just got a couple of little steep grades here. Not too bad, and then we'll be up a bit. And then once we get up past Asheville, there's some steep grades still, uh, long ones. And then we'll get up to Greenville, Tennessee, and get loaded about 8 o'clock tonight. See how long it takes them, and then they shoot back down. The sun's peeking out a little bit, instructions are flowing just fine. Uh, the way station right here has been closed for a while. I don't know, years. I don't know. They've been using it like as a storage place for all this construction, but I think they're working on getting it open again, but that would be like the entrance to it right there. But you can see it's just a bunch of construction beams or all those little like cement walls they're putting up and all the, uh, the stability of all the So yeah, I don't know if they'll ever open up again, but they're there is another one, I think. I don't think we're gonna hit any way stations with the route we're taking. Because we go up 26 and there's no way stations on 26. There is like the brake check station. And DPS will hang out there and kind of just make sure you're not running through that and make sure your brakes are working. But um, because you do get some grades up there. I want to say 6% or 7%, I'm not sure. But with these uh, dividers, cement dividers, get rid of those someday but they're working on making this four lanes both sides so let's take some time rain is coming but you can see to the west that the clouds are getting lighter so i don't know if it's going to rain all night but it is raining now that's for sure let's get through Asheville and get up 26. oh goodness um i don't know if we got a wreck or because that rain was pretty heavy now it just let up right here but we definitely Slow and go. Right where this construction is. Go figure. This is a big problem with uh, this construction is it's constrained on both sides for so long. So you have anything bad happen like this poor guy right here, um, you are set. I'm gonna jump out real quick and just ask if I can help him if he needs anything or maybe there's something that's broke that I could actually help him fix or he don't know about, but I'm gonna pull in front of him. And then I'll go walk back and help him. See what he's got going on. Yeah, Volvo. Yeah, Volvo with the Volvo motor. I don't know much about. I mean, a motor's a motor, but uh, I'm gonna stop out and ask him if he's needs cooled or anything. What he's got going on? Let my trailer get close to the guardrail. Go see what's going on. We got a little bit of time. Let's set our clock to on duty. Go see what this guy's doing. Alright. Let's make sure we don't get hit by the baby. Maybe I'll exit the other door. You can see it smoking from the bottom, so it's probably overheating or something. You okay? You good? Overheating? Just overheating? 
The what? Is it overheating? Oh, you lost the coolant. Oh, man. Uh, it's tra uh, transmission line or does it have a... Uh, I wonder if it's DPF. It's dripping right back there. Oh, jeez, okay. Ah, oh, man. Or it's a transmission line? I don't know. I don't know if that's a transmission line or what, or it's going to DPF. Man, that sucks. I feel bad for the guy. Yeah, you gotta get it towed. Man. Uh, not up here. We're in uh, Hendersonville. I don't know if there's any dealerships up here. But it's right behind the D DPF. It might be something going to the DPF or a transmission line. I, I just stopped to see if I could help him. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm just not a trucker. <laughs> All right, well, best of luck, guys. It sucks that we're, we're, he had to get stopped at because he's on a two lane. Oh, okay. All right. Hey, you know, is there a truck truck a what? I think in, in Hendersonville, yeah, or Asheville. He's on 26. He's northbound 26. Yeah, northbound, right side of 26 between Asheville and Hendersonville. Okay. All righty. Best of luck, buddy. Take care, man. That is crazy. I was actually talking to the company. Um, he doesn't speak uh, much English, but he does. Some down. I don't know if that's a cool line going transmission or something in the DEF system, but uh, it's definitely just dripping right down there. He lost all his cool, and that's why he's overheating. So. It's called a hose party, guys. Go through all your hoses. Make sure they're right. But let's get this girl out of the way, too, and he's going to have to wait for a tow. It's unfortunate, but we try to help. All right, let's get our butts out of the way and get up here. Uh, at least the weather's turning up for us. Turn out, but yeah, he's going to have to get towed. And she was asking me, do you know any repair shops? She didn't even know where he was. But he's on 26, right south of Asheville. Uh, but I don't think there's any big dealers out here. There is that freightliner dealership on the 40 but that's pretty far up there that's going to be like a good 20 miles 30 miles i think uh, let's see where he's going but volvo i don't think there's any dealers up here pray for him t's and p's hopefully he can get that uh tow truck out here but that's the kind of stuff that one little hose like that can put you on the side of the road and then there's a 600 dollars 800 dollars minimum tow i'd say just for them to come out and get you and pull you up to the next shop keep track of those hoses you, you smell any cool in here anything like that make sure you can try and because if you can get off the road and you can go get the hose replaced them but where he's at he's gonna have to get towed the, the dps is gonna get there and be like look you gotta move this truck and that's uh that's when you're kind of yeah i have to get a tow you can't just pull off the sides because i had a hose blow on my volvo first second year i had it it was just a small one on the inside um of the, few, of the frame rail um and it's just a tiny little hose and it just burst like it just pops and I walked to the uh, O'Reilly. Luckily, I, I, was off, I could get off an off uh, uh, off ramp and um, kind of found out where it was first. Pulled the hood real quick because I knew right away. I started having like steam come on my hood, and I started smelling cool. And I'm like, uh-oh, I wasn't getting hot yet, but I knew something just happened. So uh, get under there and, and try and catch that. Get your hood open quickly so you can see where it's coming from. Sometimes when it loses all the coolant, it stops spewing it everywhere. You can't tell where the leak was unless it's still dripping there or whatever. But this was like on the inside of the frame, so I'm glad I ripped it open. Otherwise, I uh, I wouldn't know where it was coming from. So let it cool down, walked, got the, got a hose, pulled the hose off right there when I when I broke down on the side of the road and then took that hose to O'Reilly. I'm like, this got the closest thing I could get. And they had some, and I put it on there. And then uh, when I rebuilt my motor, because that was before my motor blew, um, I just did all the hoses, did both those brand new. They were like 35 bucks a piece, these little tiny hoses. And uh, but yeah, just get all the hoses. Just like this truck, I did all, I even did the little metal pipe that goes from the bottom of the radiator. Uh, where does it go to? I don't know where it ends up going. To the bottom of the um, turbo, I think, I don't know. I don't know, there's no cool going turbo. I don't know what, where the heck it, uh, 
the game too. But anyways, there's a metal pipe on these can wars. I think they're on a Peterbilt's too. It's like 400 bucks. So I can replace that just because you don't want that thing eroding or, or going out. But all your hoses just replace them. Uh, you can do any kind of motor work or every every year or so or something looks old. Just that can be a problem right there where it bursts on you. So all right, enough rambling. Let's keep going. Looks like we're gonna be. Maybe we'll get some more rain, but right now we're good. Just watching out for bottles like those two. Boop, boop. We're in North Carolina right now. Getting through Asheville right in front of us. Here's that 26 and 40 split. If you go left there, you go Knoxville, Newport, Tennessee, that kind of stuff. Greenville, Tennessee is kind of right in the middle of between them, between uh, Johnson City and uh, like Newport, but it's closer to the 26, so this is the best way to go up. Even though this is a little bit more, it's an easier route, less turns, but it's more grade to it than the uh, 40 has. The 40 is pretty gradual. It doesn't have a lot of big grades. It's little little ups and downs. There's... Now this one though, we got to get the 26. That's so kind of a quick. But these two cars merge. And there's an Acura MBX back there that had a whole front tire like pushed sideways on it, hit somebody else, and there was a police officer about it. But this rain can make people not drive very well. But now we come on here. We like get on, and then we have to push over two lanes and get to the 26 real quick. It's crazy. You'll see. So you see right here, you stay right and you stay 26 west. We just passed the purple people feeder, which is pretty funny. And then it says 26 stay in this lane because you get onto this other merge. You gotta shoot over real quick. We're gonna go over the river right here too, which is real pretty. It'd be a nice drone shot right there, but the rain would not uh, cooperate. So it says use left lane 26. So with a semi, even if you're loaded, you're going to be moving a little slower. You got to get over. Yeah, this is Asheville right here, guys. Pretty much the heart of it. There's the, the uh, rivers right below us right there. Got some food in downtown and nice spots. All right. Thank you, Scion. The first generation Scion, the square box. It's like a lot of graffiti down there on the right, but it's like. Um, Wanted graffiti, I guess you would call it, kind of like they encourage it, but it's not like uh, gangs, I guess. It's just expressing your thing. So, okay, here we go. Now we're going up 26 with our little merge. There we go. Looks like it's a little backed up coming the other way. Smooth sailing, go, smooth sailing going this way. Let's turn the burn up 26. Here we go, coming into those grades. Kind of see a little snake up the mountain in the road. But uh, 62 degrees, not bad, not cold, no ice. Can't complain. But we do got to drop a gear. We yeah. had. There you go. Let's get up this mountain. So all trucks coming into Tennessee, you have to come into this little, it's called an information station. Maintain 20 miles an hour. We gotta slow it down. It looks like they kind of blocked it off right there. It used to be way bigger. I don't know why. But they had a bunch of cameras back there taking pictures of you. All that stuff, so. All right, we're gonna rest here for a second.
right. There's a probably a 30 30 yard wide river right there. Somebody's down there fishing. They got a little light. And we are taking the next exit right here, exit 37. This is Greenville next exit. Greenville, Tennessee, not Greenville, South Carolina. Not Greenville, North Carolina. There's lots of Greenvilles. Oh, I stopped here one time when it was snowing. Had a little McDonald's. It was nice. Not like a bad store, but like it was snowing. I forget where I was picking up, but I think I was picking up uh, cardboard boxes or something in Newport. Or Kingsport, sorry. Alright, now we go left here and that McDonald's is right over there to the right. There's parking like right behind it if it's still there, if they haven't built something there. But there was a big old lot behind it. We're going left. As long as traffic's clear, which it is. We got about 20 miles, 25 miles left. standing by a mailbox back there and we getting diverted here because huh oh no he just picked up a cone looking for a signal here what we got going on we got two another vehicle with hazards on up there let's see what he said How we doing? Yeah, you can get through. Just okay. go slow. Okay, sir. What's going on? Had two power poles fall across the road. With the wind? Yeah. Man, it's windy. Just be careful. All right, buddy. Thank you. Man, come power poles down. It is windy out here. Hey, watch right up there. Yeah. They put two trucks parked like this. You should be good, but just watch. Okay. Thanks, brother. Be safe. All right. Already putting them back up. straight into the wind right now. Now I'm turning where it's against me. So, teasing peace with the good old dry 
my man. Good old sail in the wet. Truck entrance, 525 feet. Not a, not a foot more, not a foot less. I like how they didn't just put 500 foot, 525 feet. <laughs> All right, John Deere, thank you for being, thanks for having a huge sign that says where the truck's at. There was just a train going by. It's creeping real slow. Um, I've been here before. I have picked up like small little lawnmowers, like the tractor tire ones, not the zero turns. Inbound and outbound truck entries. And they made me sit in this little dirt lot for a little bit, but then they got me loaded. There was kind of a break going on. They had a shift change. But they were nice about it and they got me loaded. So we are working, there's plenty of cars here. That's a good sign. Um, Pepsi just called me and asked me, oh, the gate's opening. If I wanted to run another load out of Florence, I said, sorry, I'm up in Tennessee. Um, attention, all drivers after entering gate, proceed to gate, gate what? What does that say? Gate number three at bottom of hill to check in. Gate number three, bottom of hill, okay. Thank you, thank you. But yeah, I said, no, I'll have one Monday. It's like, no, we need one tonight. So they still need to move some water out of Florence if you're trying to get out of Florida. Come back to the beautiful Greenville, South Carolina area. Or probably anywhere else. Well, they got loads going all over the place. But mostly for the South. What is that? A dead possum? Ooh, I've seen better days. Uh, bottom of the hill. No, I'm not turning right right there. It doesn't look good for me. All deliveries for John Deere. Proceed to gate three. Okay. Last time, I believe, there was just like this little shack sitting in the middle. See where that truck's that Peterbilt's backed in. That's where I was backed in. So, yeah, they make like the little. You can see them up, all of them right there on the right. Um, not zero turn, but just little tractor tires in the back, small tires in the front, rubber tires. And uh, okay, gate three. I see a gate right in front of me. I imagine I'm rocking to the right right here. Uh, yeah. Yes, yeah, the security on the front of that good old. Uh, Other John Deere. Okay, let's see what it says here. Got a window that opens here to talk to me? Nope. Drivers, turn left back into the staging area and bring your paperwork to check in with the guard. Okay. So, same thing as last time. I remember this. You just go park over there and walk on up. It is 66 degrees up here. Okay, stop sign. Look how many tractors. All those to the right, left, all those are tractors. Little, uh, I mean, little lawnmowers. Um, this guy's kind of just chilling. He did not back in. Yeah, 66 degrees right here. And it's supposed to be like 41 tonight. So that's definitely where all the wind's coming from. We're getting the cold coming in. All right, great transportation. I guess you didn't see the whole uh, back into a spot thing. But that was not a Peterbilt. That is another W9, just like mine. Right, right, right. Let's back in next to this guy. Do, 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 do. Let's get my trailer back around. There's a bunch of zero turns right there, so I guess they do zero turns and uh, the little tractor ones. Is my trailer far enough over? I don't know. Uh, definitely not, no. I'm gonna go right into the poor W9. Let's move it up and get this thing hot. Get the old sweatshirt on. 66 buck. It is also uh, windy. Got my ID. Woo! Hey, hey, it's windy. Let's go. Man. W9s. That other W9 driver was just coming out of the uh, bathroom and he's like, I wish mine glue glows in the dark. And I said, yeah, my subscribers are cool. What's going on? Man, I'm trying to go to Charleston for... Did it show up in the computer or no? Uh, yeah, I can't see it on my end. Okay. If they... Once I uh, put it in here... They might... Let us know. They might see it. <laughs> Years ago. Yep. Okay, I don't know if they what they did back then, but... Um, Basically, you just you hang out in your truck, mm -hmm. and they're ready for you. You get a text message. Okay. It'll tell you what dock door to back into over here. Okay. I don't know if you can see it. There, road behind you, and has a like purse to the right with the guardrail. Yeah. Yeah, you can take that. 
Okay, windy, windy. But the uh, pickup number doesn't jive. It doesn't, it's not something they're used to. So he said, they'll let you know if that pickup number's right. But they're going to text us. And, uh, woo, it's windy. Let's get back in the truck till then. Oh, yeah. Okay, my buddy in the W9 just took off. And we just got a text message saying go to F130. So I'm going to give this uh, yard jockey some time to get past. There you go. We're going to F-130. We already opened our doors. Our trailer is still clean. And let's go. Uh oh, we're doing a U-turn. All right. All right. All right. As a female yard jockey, she's just cruising out for a stroll. I will follow him because that's where he told me on the map. I kind of remember this. Last time I came here was with the Volvo. My first truck. If you're new to the channel, I used to have a, a VNL 670 2013. Loved that truck. Did great for me. You know, um, sold it to a guy who actually watched the channel, and I hope it's still running great for you, man. I passed, passed by him a couple months ago. It's still rolling out. Corey was his name. Corey is his name. So many little lawnmowers everywhere. Man, oh man. All right, F 130. See where that's at. We got another yard jockey going that way. There was a stop sign. My buddy just flipped around. There's another W9. It's the W9 party. Uh, 130's right here. Okay. Let's let him flip himself around. Well, it looks like he's going over there. But you can see he got him. Then he got a purple W9 with 86 inch sleeper. That's a pretty truck, too. It's pretty color. And then we're going right here next to this Schneider trailer. Okay, yeah, it says F on the W. All right. All right, all right. A little whip around, and then we got all these little uh, stands right here for the supporting the trailers. I try not to hit any of those because there's two of them sitting on both sides. All right, my trailer far enough around? Yes, she is. Let's back her up. All right. Got like a shorty FedEx next to it, too. I don't want to hit their little support things. I'm going to bend them up. I'm keep them nice. I think we're on a good track right there. Get close to that Schneider trailer, but not next to the supports. All right. Looking good. It is a yard jockey fiasco around here. One over there backing up. Another one over there. So five yard jockeys. Woo. A little circus going on. Yeah, we're all backed in the doors though. We're still green light. Uh, I haven't been locked in, but at least we're in the door. The purple W9 right there, or pink fuchsia, whatever you want to call it. And this guy seemed to be like closed up shop, just chilling. So I don't know how long they've been here. There's another yard jockey, man. Six of them. I guess maybe the shift just changed and they're like getting ready to start working. I don't know. We'll see. We are still red, not red light, but the duh. I just got a text message saying come to door 127 and sign your paperwork. I said, okay, let's do it. I just went live. If you were on there, thank you so much for joining me and hanging out and we're going to get our paperwork and start heading back. They said the seal's left in the back, go to security with your doors open, and then um, they will seal it over there. I said, okay, bring your paperwork. Got another yard jockey coming. And you see right here on the left, uh, coming up here was like adding 45 to 50 minutes if I would have went up to 40, which is like the easiest grades, uh, but it's a lot more windy, but I'm, the, I'm more used to that route. That's the route I take to like Gatlinburg or uh, Dollywood, that kind of stuff. So we're gonna go back that way, go to Newport, and then go down. Adds like three miles compared to the way I came up. But now the traffic's way less, so I'll be able to get home on a Friday night. And the wind is kinda the same, but there's no rain. So just pray for clear roads and get back down south.
go. Thanks, man. I'm going. Dropping into Newport. There is the river down there. Beautiful river. She's flowing. Oh, yeah. Probably a little cold, but hey. Let's take a turn here and head back out. Probably stop at that, uh, I want to say it's Wiggles. Wiggles. We're going to be able to make this turn? Yeah, we should. Truck route. I have not been here in a while. Oh goodness, look at, I mean, why do it like this? Why, why make the trucks, like I'm still like, I will barely pass that uh, rock they put down there. And then you got these trucks parked right here. And now I have to back up, put my trailer in the road just to clear this truck. Like who made that entrance? to park trucks right here. I don't know. Some stuff makes zero sense for these turning radiuses, but we make it happen. And I had to go, you saw me, I went wide into the next lane just to uh, make that turn. Otherwise, I'm dragging those rocks everywhere, ripping up my spindles on my dang trailer. Uh, there we go. I love this. It's a clean place. They got air. I'm gonna clean the windshield. They have water to like spray your truck down if you want to. Well done, uh, truck stop up here. Except for the entrance. And their fuel is what was it at? 374. Wow. QT at 344 yesterday was definitely the best. A little bit of tunnel time. Don't forget to hold your breath. Bless you guys we have a full moon or almost a full moon clear skies and uh, not too cold so check out just talking dot shop we will be at mats this uh, year uh, 30th of march will be the first day we'll be there and uh, come by and see us fill out a little uh, entry form for safety out of prep.com's thousand dollar cash giveaway on saturday at 5 p.m we will do it on location at the uh at the truck show <clears throat> so yeah look for us then we'll of course be throwing videos out every day out there and uh getting to meet some of you guys we haven't met before and some of you guys we have before so looking forward to that and looking forward to some more good loads too but bless get this one on the truck for the weekend and we'll be uh down on the coast on monday morning so enjoy your families god bless you and i'll see you on the next one <laughs>